nuts, raisins, oh my, what are we planning to make? Stay tuned to find out in this blog post of Destination Fun. got the two teaspoons of that and then it says salt and cinnamon so for salt we need a quarter of a teaspoon okay and then the cinnamon is two teaspoons one and two so I'm gonna just sift it with this little whisk Step we are going to do is we're going to take this large bowl and we are going to combine three eggs to, it didn't say what size eggs, I'm just using large eggs, I'm just assuming it's large. So three large eggs is what I'm putting in here. And we're going to do buttermilk, which is three fourths of a cup of buttermilk. The oil was um, three-fourths of a cup, and I already have it measured out. So three-fourths of a cup of oil. And then sugar, which is one and a half cups, and I already have that measured out. The other thing it says to do is um, vanilla. So here would be one, and this would be two. And I'll show you what this is gonna look like. After I mix it together, this is what it looks like. And then what I'm gonna do after I mix this is I'm going to add the flour mixture that we made into this. And I'm gonna mix it into here. And then I'm going to turn the mixer back on and mix it. Okay, so we mix it all together. And now we are gonna go on to the next step. We are going to combine the carrots, which we have right here. Um, this is two cups of shredded carrots. And I'll put that in there. And then coconut, which we have right here. And this coconut is one cup of flaked coconut. So we're gonna add that. Then it's calling for walnut which is one cup of already chopped walnuts, one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple, and we have it here. I'm gonna go on and put that in there. And now it says the raisins, and this right here is one cup of raisins. So I'm gonna go on and put that in there. So let's go on and mix it. It's a little hard to mix, but we are going to go on and start adding it into this, but we're gonna fold it in. So we're only gonna add a little bit at a time. So let's go on and whisk some of this in. I've already put a little bit in here. 
and you can smell the um, pineapple. The pineapple is very strong in here. So as you keep adding this, the thicker this batter is getting and the harder it is to whisk it. So you've got to make sure you got some big oomph in here. This is what it looks like once it's all mixed together. So we're going to pour it into this pan, which I'd already pre-greased. Look at all these flavors coming together in here. And the oven is preheated to 350. I'm going to go on and put this in the oven for one hour. One hour later. Okay, it has been one hour, so we're going to go on and take this thing out of the oven. Ooh, and look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on and let it cool for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to come back and make the frosting and start icing it. So we'll see you in just a few. A few minutes later. Make the icing. We're going to do homemade icing instead of icing that And the last thing we want is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And now I'm going to put the mixer on. Ooh, does it look creamy? Thank you. 